Now let's see how we go. As I said, this is uh, probably the harder class to play in here. If you want to beat it, like I wanted to on every character, I just, you know, kept trying. But if your purpose is, um, you know, farming spiritual essence, I would say it's worth doing another hero. And I'll explain a little bit in the video why it's not as good, this one. But basically, you can't use the weapon and your <clears throat> your skills at the same time. And you have to use your skill interrupts, um, where if you're on the bunny, you can actually use your E skill continuously for defense and damage. And you can have your beam going the whole time. Starting weapon doesn't matter, except for you do want to kill things as quick as you can. You know, your QK will sort of do stuff here, your fireball a little bit. But even now, like, when they're weak, fireball works. But, you know, just in five levels, it'll be just useless. We don't use any upgrades on the left of the screen until we hold out for our Argus and Wild Hunt. The Craftsman, if you look at the top, we're heading towards our first reward is the Craftsman and the Peddler. Um, and as soon as that craftsman appeared, Gemini's will be on the peddler. And what do we get there? We can't use it. See if that had dropped. It's got no Gemini yet because the craftsman has not appeared. Now we can use, even though we're holding out for the wild hunt of the Argus because they've got the high, highest base damage and multiplier, we can use other shotguns as a temporary measure. We just don't upgrade them. The game's on a timer. Uh, it's not how many uh, enemies you kill at this point. So we got our wild hunt with Gemini. And anything else, that, that was good to get it that early. And the craftsman appeared somewhere. I wasn't paying attention. And where is it? It's usually easy to see. Oh, it's right next to me. Easily if it's far away, it'll put it. So I'm just going to get spores on that straight away. Uh, yeah, often you have to wait. Uh, the latest I've got, I have been unlucky and got at level 12 and 13, the, the preferred weapon. But I'm just wanting, as soon as I get my shotgun, this will be here for the entire game. And the benefit of doing a spores build, a weapon build, which scales well as the game gets harder, is you're not determined upon ascensions. Now, scrolls help a big deal and the goblet choices on the way through, but you're not, you can still be successful without those things happening. So I'm going to reforge two. I didn't have 300 to roll usually, and I've gone up to 12 rolls. I didn't have 600 to reforge to get spores on that. I'm going to bump that up straight away on the first craftsman, because what that does is makes the base damage go up. It'll actually, the multiplier will go up too, but it's got to be quite a few levels before that will bump up by 0 0.5, 0 0.5. So we're off to a good start. Now I've just got to see off that pedal up. Is there a decent fast weapon? Because I'll use the scalpel for now. Uh, you can see that I want things that fire over a thousand and the injectors like 1200 or something, but nothing's costing us here. And gold we don't need at all in the game. We're dying here. Oops, dropped the wrong weapon. So I've got my spores on it. I'm just going to get out of here because I'm going to die. And just clear around that weapon that I dropped by mistake. Swap to the other weapon here. Pick up that, and now I've got my spores. That's a bad weapon for that, isn't it? And I'm just going to get clear a bit, because I'm going to die. But I really do want to get my injector. Now things will die very quickly, because the faster the weapon, the faster the spores get placed. Notice we've got no ascensions yet. No defensive scrolls are a bit vulnerable, but if we can get the injector to drop soon, that we want, and I'm after the rainbow. Anything fast firing though works for the moment. It just means I've got to aim. Two weapons in the game that aim auto aim, which is why their advantage in here when it gets really hectic, is the rainbow and the radioactive glove. To unlock that, you've got to kill 50 venomous lizards. They only appear on elite or higher difficulty. And it might only get two or three around. You might get more if you get lucky in one of the side vaults. They appear in there too. So I'm just trying to kill enemies at this point. 
I've got my, oh, I should do my upgrades now. I've got my gun, so I'm not thinking. So you always upgrade the off weapon to upgrade the off weapon because it will have your main hand, whatever's in your main, you know, you've got, you're shooting with, it will offer you to upgrade. So be careful you don't upgrade your main hand. We're going to be tossing that frequently or your main weapon. A uh, long shot, it's not going to really help us here. That's good for the reactive glove. It gives you movement speed, and we do want that. That gives you a lucky shot chance. Don't own scrolls. So I'm just going to go for a little bit of lucky shot. Uh, at the moment, you'd normally, the reds are always what you'd go for, for, say, a spiritual flame build. Um, but at the moment, we just want to see what scrolls we can get. Don't ever do that one. It slows your regen on your shield. Uh, I'll just do that. I'm really just trying to get weapon damage or survival. So we don't need money. We're going to have thousands left over at the end. I'm just killing... I'm getting these catfish out because they're a little bit dangerous. And the gunners. So, okay, what did we get? We got a thunderclap. We don't care about any shotguns now. That is the defensive one we're going for, but we're not going to be using it just yet. Not using our E. The problem with the defensive on this, and you might not even need it, is you've got to stop shooting to do that, and it just doesn't do a lot. Even if you get the ascensions later on, the way the game scales so quickly, 35 minutes or something, you're at the boss, 40 minutes. But we're level seven, we've got plenty of time, and we're only four minutes into the game. I think it's 10 minutes is the next timer until the next craftsman. So the craftsman, all I do when they appear is look for scrolls. I'll check the weapon just to see if the injector's on there, that's better, they really are. They usually drop because of our container. Nope. At the moment, until I get my injector, I'm just playing a bit safely and trying to space out the enemies so they're not all attacking me and I die early. There's a wheel saw that I could have grabbed temporary if I didn't have my wild hunt. I think it's got a 10 projectile count and a lower base damage. That's a thunderclap glove and I'm, it, it, you know, it'll do like this one's doing, but it doesn't auto target. I'm really after those specific weapons of the rainbow or the glove. Now, if you haven't unlocked the glove, the rainbow unlock, it usually, usually unlocks early game. I think it unlocks on normal. I can't remember the requirements. Just make sure you look. Now, we just got something dropped. I think a wild hunt, but I can't see the injector. And we've got a radioactive glove, so and it's got spores on it. Now, we'll start owning. Right-clicking the radioactive glove, AOEs, everything around it. It's got cor uh, corrosion on it, so it eats through the yellow armor that you just saw there. But it also um, does wonderful AOE and it's got more range. That's the benefit of this weapon. The benefit of the rainbow is it shoots closer range, but you can use the terrain to shoot through. You don't have to have line of sight on the enemy to kill it. Now I've got an upgrade, but what I've got to do to upgrade my... I'm just going to group them up in here. Not just what dropped. We just got uh, not what we need. So I'm going to swap. Okay, we get a break now. Swapping to our other weapon to upgrade it, looking at the scrolls. Now that'll help us a little bit. Uh, we're not going to get cursed scrolls unless we get that. So that one, uh, we just do our E key, which we're not really using. But once we get defensives, if we get defensives, we will be. So what I want to do here is just pick up my upgrades quickly, like run over these beads. And then dash towards the craftsman downstairs, just remembering, did I upgrade? Yeah, I did upgrade. So we're only upgrading the shotgun from here on in. Deft hands is good, because we don't have to load the injector as much. And that just means more pew pew. What we're looking for on the weapons, uh, see that's useless, totally uh, useless. And we don't care about the stats on that, let me just swap them around, F. Um, so that's lucky shot chance, that's what I'm looking for. Crit, this glove does not crit, and I'm looking for rate of fire. So that's a good starting weapon. So lucky shot chance and rate of fire. I like the ones, the blue ones, that say um, kill an enemy. 
50% lucky chance. I'm just going to do that one. Let's, let's um, picking up at this point, MO straight into the mag. I'm just looking at scrolls. Uh, that's useless. It'd be a sniper on an R8 build, maybe if you're on the tiger or the monkey doing a sniper build. And there's no injectors there. So I'm just going to bump up this to get my base damage up to 212 now. Makes a huge difference upgrading that weapon. And you just want to bunch them up so that your AOE refracts. And you can't hear it because I've turned the game sound off for you guys, but there's a pulse telling you when to press it. So you don't have to, you just have to listen. And once you get the first one right, you just press in the same timing. Even when you don't press, I won't press the beam with enhanced. It still kills pretty quickly. I don't know, it's a, mis a glitch thing. If it glitches like that, just stop pressing for a second and re-press it. Okay, we've got another um, defensive there. But you've got to get burning on the enemy for that to work. You've got to cast your E key. But for the moment, I really want this one. That um, my shield goes up 150%, which is really good. Why energy's draining or you're using energy. So you just press your E key every now and then. And it's good when the game gets harder. So this class doesn't have as much defensives as other heroes, like the monkey, the Q key, gives you a lot of good defense, plus it gives you weapon levels, like berserk level, 15 plus weapon levels if you get the ascensions, and some extra inscriptions. So it's another good one to play if you play the monkey in here, just for farming essence. I came in here at first and really didn't like it. I played with my son, it was so hectic, I didn't know what to choose, we didn't work out the spores and, and the container then, and we were just dying, you know, um, he's a better player than me, he gave me the game at Christmas, and I thought, I gotta work this out, as I always do with games, how does the game want me to play it, it's very hard to get information about it, because this only came out, I think, in November patch, 2022, and, there's only a month, and all the streamers really streamed and stopped streaming by now because the game's been out for a while, even though they're adding new content in spring in the US. I'm Australian, and I think that's March to July. I've never played roguelike games before. I've played World of Warcraft, Doom Eternal. Uh, fast, you know, I played you know, Half-Life, all of those. first game I ever played was Wolfenstein 3D on floppy disks, yeah, I'm old. So I need to play smarter. My reaction time's down. I've got a, a chronic illness and um, a reaction time down and I don't feel well most of the time. But I love gaming. I always have. It's a great distraction when you're not well. So I'm just killing enemies now and, and really just waiting for my upgrades. So I swap to my weapon. I don't want skill-based stuff. If MO is an issue on the hero you're on, that's not a bad one. I'll just take it for now, but I can drop it. I can only have 20 scrolls. Um, I've got three of those. Really, you would go for the energetic spirit normally, and it might even be helpful at now because, uh, but really it's just energy draining that, that procs. So if we decide to use it because we don't get defensive scrolls. And even if you don't get those ascensions, you get stone skin, phantom skin. If you get feline, it's this is a sure win if you've got some essence to reroll buffer shield. Feline, the scroll, and the goblet buffer shield, you become invulnerable. You can stand here still, let everything try to hurt you, even the boss, and it's a sure thing. And I think they've done that, that if you persist with it, eventually RNG. I've only got it about four or five times, and I've done this quite a bit. RNG rewards you. So you can see that, you know, Wild Hunt, we've got a radioactive glove, which I'll look at in a second, but now things are getting harder. I need to look at what that weapon's got. Now you could run down and just, you know, what do you, oh, Feline Spirit. We got that. Um, if we can kill, which we will, this guy, 
and I got plenty of essence. I'll show you how feline works with buffer shield because we now have a certain win. You don't get this very often. Um, I think it's pretty low chance, but I don't care about what ascensions I get now. I'm going to melt this guy. Just going to stay alive and not die from something stupid here. This guy pew pews in front, by the way. So I'm just going to destroy those. The corruption will destroy these elites because they've got armor, the yellow band. And as soon as you kill them, if I had the rainbow, I could kill around the corner here, but I've got to wait. And then if you get close, he doesn't pew pew those things as much. He tries to sword you. Now, we get our goblet. Now, I've got lots of essence. If you're in here and you're trying to make it, you can't, and you don't have the essence to do this. Uh, but if you're just trying to get the first kill, like I set different goals for myself. This is a second play save file i played my son and his friends um on the way through and we got my first r8 kill in co-op and then i set the goals to do on every hero you know reincarnation eight solo which is really hard um, because you don't get any second chances no reasons unless you get fake death or something on the way through but it is it's is, it is doable and um, i really love slight rngs but what i'm going to do here is i'm going to refresh to get buffer shield now I need to what to get this on my channel. I thought I recorded another run with this, and I had misrecorded. Uh, again, you wouldn't choose that if that turned up. Never choose glass cleaning. Not only does it that would be normally sounds great, like okay, I lose fifty percent, but I've got a shield build. It also halves your shield. And my son chose that, and I was like resing him over and over. He's like twenty five, um, and in the end, he said, "Don't res me, Dad." Uh, he's the better player. <laughs> he said, I've just chosen all the glass pellet, you know, because he did my build and thought we'd be OP. Uh, he's still got to play. This is a great one if you're doing the cat because throwing your grenades or having a corrosive weapon like this, that's the go-to for the cat, means that anything with corrosive damage on it um, is getting the effect more, increasing the damage, but more importantly, half the damage to you. So great survival um, one for that. I'm just looking for buffer shield. I don't care what it costs. I want to show you this. Uh, I'd be also looking for firearm specialist um, is another good one. Anything that doesn't stop my weapon damage. So there we go. So your skill damage goes down, but you get double weapon. And we're doing a weapon based skill. So we can't count on the other. Let's hit deer now. Buffer shield, got it. We're now invulnerable. So if you're just wanting, like, like in the game, I wanted to unlock... You have to beat on the hero to unlock, you know, like uh, a good one in here. Not, it's not good, really. It's good in other games. You know, there's a spiritual goblet that you can get in um, reincarnation runs. But, you know, you're running around and your energy fills up. But because we're not doing skill base here, it doesn't matter. So now we're invulnerable. we just got to get our weapon damage up because we still want to pew pew and I'm going to show you that. That's about my seventh go of getting those together. Uh, what do we got? Giant Slayer, uh, fast moving, which I don't care about defensive now, but I will talk about them if they come up. I don't really care about anything at this point. In Ascension wise, just weapon upgrades I do. So I will control to my other weapon. Against the flow, I want to make sure I'm not reloading on my injector. And we're ready to go now. Where did that, and what's this one here? Rate of fire, 5% on critting. Uh, we're not critting. I just got 20 fence. What have we got on this again? Oh, I've got 25, so it's all right for now. Usually there's an icon ahead where the other one appeared, but I cannot see the icon through the map. Oh, it reappeared here. Okay. It doesn't appear the icon if you're close to it. That's a really dangerous one to have unless you're on a hero that has Sanguine Scroll that has a lifesteal, which is really nice. You've converted your, you know, shield to health um, because that can really hurt you. I'll just choose that for now. It really doesn't matter now. I'm just wanting weapon damage. I'll still play like a name, but I'll stand still for a second and just show you. It's the old god mode if you've played games that you, you know. So I'm just looking for upgrading my weapons. So I want to show you still how you can pew pew. But there's no danger now.
Good one in here too is a veteran, but you want to get it early where you can get 200 health. But you've got to be within seven meters of killing the creatures. The rainbow is good because you can be within seven meters if you're down here. Uh, to do my defensive, for instance, I have to do that. I'm not shooting. And it only is the ones that are in burning that are not doing the damage to me, so. I've got a rainbow. I'll show you how the rainbow works, just so you can see how to play it defensively. This is the best weapon in here, especially on, on this. Forgetting where the vendor is. See, it's look, it's, look how much it kills without spores. Really slow. And put spores on it. What do we got on it? Crit's no good to us. Reload, damage against shocks, nothing. 30% recover ammo when you kill an enemy, so you just won't be reloading. That's pretty useless, but I'm gonna keep it just to show you that it really is this weapon leveling in the base damage. Um, one, two, three. I'm just counting to see if I get a ridiculous amount that I've got to click. Doesn't matter at this point, I'm just going for scrolls normally. Uh, it's an all right one for the boss. But I don't really care about that. I'll do that. Uh, only that, you know, I don't jump a lot, but because it's auto aim, you can just jump around stuff. It's a bit of fun. Because you can shoot through the terrain. There's another one there. Let me see what that is. You can pause the game to have a look at what it is, but just make sure there's not a lot of stuff around you. Lucky shot chance. That's nice. We're never reloading because we're killing instantly all the time. Those last two are useless to us. So I want to see what odds on the chests coming up. <laughs> because sometimes they say reroll normal to rare. And uh, an average weapon like this can become awesome. And I still want to show you. I mean, I'm not having to be defensive now you, and what you have to do is everything's on a timer you see it's moving towards the right to the chests the more enemies you kill in that timer and hence why I'm bunching them up the more levels you get the more ascensions you get the more scroll choice you get but if you're just trying to be safe about it you can run around the entire map and when it gets to the next timer and the elites appear which we've got two more elites to appear which have got two more goblets that are ahead for it, or one more goblet ahead for us. Um, you just got to kill the elites. So if you run away from the pack and kill the elites, because they'll follow you faster, all the trash despawns. But I'm trying to get levels here. I'm usually between, um, depending upon the hero and sort of defensive scrolls I get, if I've got to play more defensively. But why, um, I'm usually between 41, 43, and I've been as high as 51 by the time I boss. And there, you know, you're going to get a choice of scrolls, like now, ascensions and weapons. There's a pattern to it, but I haven't really memorized it. Skill damage I don't care about. I don't swap weapons, and I'm never zero, so none of those are good. Uh, I'm not doing any of this at the moment. I'd just be doing defensive if I didn't have feline. Got a weapon upgrade, swap to your off weapon, and then swap back. I use control to swap between last year's weapons. Now, if I was playing more defensively, um, always cappers at this point. So I'll talk about it as if I'm not invulnerable. But you want to use like these, because this weapon will shoot through so they can't directionally hit you. Straight left and right. You want to clear the catfish because they don't move and follow you. And they can stun you and throw you back into the sharks that are ahead. Most dangerous ones ahead are the sharks that chain you. But you can use the terrain so they can't get their chain directly at you. And I'll show you that when it comes up. Being a bit reckless because I know I can't die now. But I do want to get better weapons. Uh, just a pew pew. So I've just got lucky shot chance really on this one and I'm not reloading. Uh, what do we get? Radioactive uh, Thunderclap glove. The, gull the colours are different. That's a blue for the thunderclap, red for the laser, green for the radioactive. So I can quickly, without reading them, know what's there. 
but why the so really what's coming up that's dangerous and I haven't got the choice yet is I want the glove that stops slow or the corrosion damage plus 25 even if I'm using the rainbow because I become negative the effects of corrosion don't affect me basically so the octopuses can slow you then you get chained or the mobs catch up to you there's a radioactive glove just sticking with this because I might go the active glove at this point and stay right away. It's got more range, but it has to have line of sight. So, you know, yeah, you can use, but now, now the monks are appearing. You want to run around and find where they are because they're just going to spawn endlessly. Some of them will port to you. He's immortal. They'll only spawn, if you run around the whole map, everything spawns along the way. So you have to keep running around the whole map to get the monks, otherwise you just have lanterns coming after you all the whole time. Though this weapon's great for lanterns, even if you don't notice them, as long as you're pointing towards it, you will always target what's closest. If I have time, I'll, I'll put up a video of me not being immortal here just to see a run. Uh, I'd just be running around the whole map now, waiting for the timer, thinning out the pack. There's no way I'd be running around in a circle like this on this hero. On others I might, that are more defensively based. And my aim over the next uh, little while is to... I wouldn't have run into that shark if I wasn't immortal. Craftsman's appear. Now, it's really nice when you get a break here. You can check the weapons that you might have missed. We'll have a look at this one. What have we got? Crit's useless. Uh, 50% damage on let's have a go of that just to show you that one for now so rate of fire is king and I've got rate of fire constantly with this it's 1056 rate of fire where what's the other one um, about the same as the rainbow so they're over a thousand fire rate but now with that it's going to just go crazy it'll be 1500 bullets within the um, 100 seconds Let me reforge that and I've got to run down to the chest and the craftsman now I don't want skill booster that's all again I don't want that none of those uh, health is full so that's 25% base damage and we're only doing white numbers on the glove now on the rainbow it's a good boss weapon because you can right click the boss's head and get crit I don't care about my ascension, so I want to see what scrolls I get. But I wouldn't do that if I had my defensive and wasn't, wasn't invulnerable. And I never do that on an R8 run unless I got this luckily at the start and had crappy ascensions. Actually, that's 40% base damage though. If I'm being hit and I'm invulnerable, so it probably doesn't work. Okay, it's good. We just got veteran. So I'll show you how to stack that up just so you can see and if you get that early. Otherwise, with the beam, you just got to make sure you're close to the enemy when you press the beam. You can't press it continuously. It would nuke it before you get there. Um, what else do I get? I'm going to be picky about that. Uh, movement speed, and uh, if I have the glove, that will make me go faster. So movement's king. I really don't care about these and these. No, that sort of stuns for a second when you run through the pack. It's helpful. That will it'll slow them. Okay, we're all right. Nothing that's hurting us. That's the main thing I was looking for. I clicked my thing by accident then. I'm going to run to there first, just to upgrade so I don't forget. Quick look on the peddler for scrolls. Yes, I'll take that. 35% just weapon damage and skill, but I don't care about the skill. Bumping that up to 18 now, and I'm running to the chests and they're spawning. Don't have immunity, so let me see. Now, I like all normal, that's a really good one, all that, because I can get three levels on my um, shotgun. I'll just see what's on here. Uh, see, I really want to keep that, but we'll just see what we roll. Um, sometimes that's in a blue with a different thing on it. I might just do this, actually. It really makes a difference 
this is the main one doesn't really matter as long as it's planning spores with a big based image and now we're up to 21 and we've got 332 based image just going to get to the other scroll I'll just clear some stuff uh, I want to get movement speed so at this point I might do that if I've got my movement speed stuff if I want the rare scroll of ostrich boots or something like that Ah, oh, that's useless. Coppers that refresh the peddler. It's useless scroll in the game. I'll drop it later. What do we get? Uh, nothing good. So it starts to heat up now, and I will just... Would like the rainbow, actually, if I was doing this, but I want to show you how the glove AoEs has a bit more distance. So you just keep going like this, wait until they catch up to you. Make sure what ahead is clear. But you can stay really far range with this glove and it will nuke them as they bunch in the corners the monks will port to you but it will nuke them kill the cappers they'll spawn around you so keep moving i don't need to because i'm invulnerable but i'm just showing you how i would if i wasn't and the rainbow i would be playing with i wouldn't have gone to the glove i just want to show you how it works just because I can use corners here and shoot through walls and it starts getting dangerous now. I wouldn't have run into that. I would have just kept going. I'm just wanting to clear a bit of the bunch so it speeds up the... Uh... Well, it's on a timer, but just clear them out a bit. So then bunched up like that's really nice. You just keep moving because the directional frontals won't get you. There's a monk somewhere that I've got to clear up here. He's going to keep spawning those. Kappa. We got an injector up there. I'll try and look at that in a second. Just picking up some of this. Now we just got to... The, everything's getting harder. So what happens now is we're going to probably gonna get sharks. We're going to get lobsters coming up. And we'll get guys with blue on their name, which means they're enhanced enemies. This is a good choke point. You just move left and right. So the frontals, but they will come from this direction. So just look at your mini map every now and then. They'll start jumping down. Just move down the map a bit. They start, that's the next spawn point here. They clear a few because they're nice and bunched. The monks do spawn around the maps. You just keep moving. That's a good choke point, especially for this weapon, because they'll come from the left too. So you just keep moving back with this weapon. Know the map, you'll get used to it in time. There's some sharks coming that I spoke about, but because we're here, we don't go too far back. If we do, they'll start jumping down from behind us, the next spawn point for them. So you get to know spawn points. If you had the radioactive glove, it's really good. You just hang here. And they sort of try to get you, but they don't move around to you. This is going to bunch them together for the glove and make it good. But they're going to start spawning behind me now. So you just keep moving backwards. And just check ahead for the octopuses that are now spawning. They slow you. I haven't got slow um, immunity. So I want to get rid of those because they could kill me. And that's the loop that I do when I have to start at this point, just playing more defensively so they don't hit me. Um, another good choke point, though they'll start spawning behind. Elite monsters are incoming, so all you need to do now, if you didn't have, like you're starting to scramble a bit, is you keep moving around the map and they will follow you. Now the crazy glove, this guy does a frontal. Kill the mugs that spawn on you, they just sap your health. He'll keep following you no matter what, and he's faster than the pack. So you just keep clearing ahead a little bit. Look and make sure there's no catfish, monks. I thin out the pack just for survivability at this point and make sure the monks are gone. I'm in an area there's nothing like sharks or octopuses. Good place to bunch them up. Just keeping my enhanced beam up, even if you miss click one of those beams. Now he'll melt in a second as soon as you get his shield off. If you had the the, the, radi the um, rainbow, you could stand behind here and melt them. And that is the real advantage of the rainbow. Now he's going to die. 
Uh, we've got to have a few elites here. It gets a bit crazy. So you can just keep moving. I'll just keep moving as if I would play at this point. Next monk, he'll port to you. And he'll do lanterns, but the lanterns will die. But because he's got no shield on him, that's the, uh, the armor, I should say, the yellow. He ported away the mongrel. Where is he? There he is. He will die quickly. He's not one of the harder ones. Do you port somewhere? Where'd you go, mate? He's scared of me, you see. He knows that I've got feline. Have a look what we got here. Uh, that's not a bad one because you can throw out if it's useless. We're at 20 of 20 scrolls now. It will toss the scrolls that I get. So I need to just cull my scrolls a bit of the ones that I don't need. Don't like that one because we're doing normals all the time. Uh, don't care about these, but you know, you choose what you normally would. Conflag, um, swap to my other weapon to upgrade it. That's a good one. Um, for defense, that's the slow. So I would choose that at that point. Um, and resilient life, I don't care about that. And let me just toss some scrolls. So I normally at this point of the game would go through and just get rid of, really doesn't do a lot. A few bullets, I'm not, I've got it deft, so I'm not really reloading. Um, just lets me pick some others up later. In my, oh, that's rubbish too, that peddler. Okay, picking up some stuff for levels here. Um, yep, Firefox blessing. I'm really not worried because I'm doing a weapon build. I, I'm only, I haven't got my defensives so much. I got a little bit, but I'm not going to cast my E. And I now this guy here use this center pillar. If you stay close, he does try to melee you, but he doesn't do that. That like if I move away, he'll do this. And they hurt, and you got to hide and then come out. But if you stay close enough for him not to dash to you and hit you with the sword like that, otherwise just hide. If you've got the rainbow, you just hide around the corner when he does his frontals. Now, all you got to do is the elites at that point. See all the essence actually came to me, or whatever they call it, that upgrades you. I didn't have to move. So you just got to kill the elites. Run ahead of the pack. All of them are up top and around the map. They just died. So it's good to understand that you don't have to kill everything, just the elites. At this point, I don't really care, um, but uh, did I get, I did, um, you can see down here what you chose, a buffer shield. I would like firearm specialist at this point. I would usually do buffer shield there. Who would ever do that? It's like that scroll. But I just want to choose something that doesn't hurt my Attacking with a weapon, to, if the enemy is an elemental effect, which is with this glove, 75 looking shot, if not. So I'd choose that for the rainbow because, and I might still get a rainbow, um, because I get lucky shot chance I'm doing elemental, otherwise it is doing crit X. Okay. They don't make or break the run, though, the goblets. I just go for the... the, the I really want the buffer shield because that does help. And defensive scrolls that I haven't really got this run. Uh, no, 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 that's lucky shield shot. Ammo, I'm not having ammo problems, so I'll do that. That's skill damage, so um, I don't need that. I do like the one that gives you damage based on your money. I'm not going to lose health. And even then, uh, with the build this way works, the, the uh, fox... Casting your primary E is actually going to give you um, damage reduction and your shield. So I wouldn't get rid of, uh, I wouldn't use that anyway. Nope, nope, nope. And I'm ready for the next. You can press F early to spawn them. So I'm just going to go to the craftsman. I'm going to run up to my favorite spot up there where they just loop around. I wouldn't do that if I didn't have immunity. I would run around the whole map. Nothing, no scrolls there. But as I said, I've got feline, not feline off that, so I always check. I got plenty of money, nothing to spend it on. If one thing, because you get lots of money, there's something you got to buy 20 weapons off the craftsman to unlock something in the container. Something I don't use, but I do like to unlock everything. I just bought lots of weapons and tossed them on the ground. You don't have the money to do that normally. <clears throat> so what have we got ahead? We've got two cursed chests. Got a chance at a good weapon dropping. I'd like to change the rainbow just to show you how you can play a bit more defensively when it gets crazy like this. 
This is good AOE and it does help you on the elites because it burns through the yellow armor on the top of these. The corrosion, that is. But as you can see, I mean, I haven't got shock, but they're still melting. With spores, it really doesn't matter if you've got an elemental effect on the weapon or not. Just a bonus. He's immortal. Let's just show you here. What, what does it do here at this level? We punch them up. Look at that. Third of his uh, shield off. Like It just doesn't work. And I have got some spiritual blessings here. Let's have a look. We've got one of that. I've got the conflag for the base damage. Up to 360 base damage. That just doesn't. I haven't got energetic spirit, so I haven't really can't have cast a lot, but it does nothing. You've got to go weapon damage build in here. Works in our rates too, um, and I go for a spore build in there. I've tried, you know, miasma and different mixing different things and adding crit together. They do not perform as well as spores. They did change spores apparently. <clears throat> I'm immune to slow now. So I wouldn't be too scared of those running past them, but that could be really dangerous otherwise. Mysterious chest spawn somewhere. I'm wanting a better weapon. I want to do, get back to the rainbow. So I'm just waiting for one of those to drop. And then what's the chest over there? So I'm just, if I was doing this, I just want to keep them following me. They'll start coming up the stairs if I go too close in a minute. So no, if you know where you get to know the map that if you come here, they start spawning here and they jump down off here. But it's good to get these guys bunched up at the top of the stairs and the shark can't get you. Let's have a look what this is. Upgrade by three, normal inscriptions to rare. I got rate of fire after killing enemy while I'm heading with this, but let's see what we get. We're invulnerable. Okay, that means I'm 100% going to get my corruption for slowing them. 50% fill magazine, never reloading. Crit X is useless, and that's useless. So that actually made the weapon worse. But if I did that on the um, rainbow, which I normally would, I would be welcoming the Crit X and lucky shot on crit because on the boss, I'm heading towards the boss now. And all that I'm doing now is waiting out the timer. I think 30 minutes is the next timer. And by then, we've got a craftsman. It'll hit 30 minutes and stop the timer. And then, then I've just got to kill the elites and it's boss time. I'm going to run around the map at this point and I would be targeting octopus and monks. I just want to clear them around the entire map so I haven't got stuff following me. <laughs> I got another one. That's the one favourite one at this point. I mean, that one as well. If I had a good weapon, I'd be up just bouncing up my base damage on my spores. But I'm holding out for a weapon that will drop higher level now. And I want to get the rainbow to show you how that works on the boss by critting. Using the right click. I'm missing my enhance. Not that it matters when it's single, but it doesn't do any more damage. It only refracts. So just not doing it here doesn't matter. Weapon's starting to run out. I can see here he's in ants, so he's taking a while to die. Everything now starts pumping ants. We're going to have lobsters soon. Dangerous. Fell down. And the rainbow's great. Because you fall down, then you can shoot them up. You know, if I had the rainbow, I would use that. I used it to stop him chaining me, but I could use that and still be pew-pewing. So just keep moving, and, and it just bunches them up. I'm now doing the enhanced. Uh, they're getting powerful now. It means they take a while to die. And I lost my rate of fire, so the weapon's running out. You can see the difference. Lucky shot rate of fire is what I want, and I haven't got it. You often do get the two by now. A weapon should drop. I'm level 37, so I'll be in my 40s by the time I'm bossing. Uh, we got a craftsman up here now. I'm just waiting for that. There we go. Get a break. Pick up your essence in a minute when you go around the map and the craftsman's down there. Just checking I didn't miss. The only downside of running around the map is you can miss a weapon that drops. I'm keeping that chest to re-roll a weapon. Looking on the peddler for scrolls. 
Uh, skill base, that's a great one on our eight runs, but I'm just having a drink of my coffee. But I'm not worried about skill in here. I, I would take it earlier. I'd take it on the bunny for my my E. I would take it on this as well if um, I you know, wasn't immune. Elemental, that's a good one for the radioactive glove I've got now. But I won't worry at the moment. Okay, bumping that up. I'm going to upgrade my off weapon. What are we up to now? 26. It's getting to nice. Usually the weapon's around around that by the time you boss. We've got radioactive gloves. What I got? Okay, this is a good example that I picked up the wrong one. Uh, that's... Oh, it's not enough to kill. 150 on a crit. That is the one I really like on the radioactive glove because it means I'm melting the last boss. But I have got the 50% rate of fire of killing an enemy. And, uh, yep, yeah, so I'll keep that because of the rate of fire. Not only that, it's level 15, so the base damage is a little bit more. Let me pick up my wild hunt. Not that one. Uh, what is it? The second weapon, number two. I've got to try it out. Wrong one I picked up then. Again, the inscriptions below on the secondary make no difference to the weapon. So, one, two. Now they're becoming enhanced. So I've got to kill one powerful enemy star. And right now things get hard because they just take a while to die. What have I got as my normals? I don't want to lose my rate of fire by re-rolling. Oh, I haven't got Gemini on. Don't do that. I was thinking, why is it dying so slow? Just showing you that <laughs> weapons useless without spores. Now they're dying instant. I was thinking, why are they dying so slow? Got rate of fire, and you know when you get rate of fire and lucky shot on kill, you get a fifty percent lucky shot, or you've got like the rainbow that stacks on target if it's elusive, hundred fifty percent lucky shot. You'll melt the boss, melt the uh, elites. You just keep moving backwards. There's an enhanced something up here. Shark, I'm going to drop down so he can't chain me, even though I'm invincible. I want to get that shark down, though, and I don't want to be slowed by him, though I got the immunity, didn't I? So if I didn't, I would be running away from that and leaving that octopus there. But they're bunched up. If I had the, the radioactive, uh, the... Rainbow, I could use that pillar, but I have to use it. I could shoot through the pillar while the shark's trying to get me. Just keep it down. The op these are dangerous. I'm going to get a few of these down. He's actually enhanced, so he's going to take a bit. And he's immortal. As long as you're not in the fire, they shoot where you were. That's why movement speed, which I haven't been got a lot of on this hero. We've got the 25% from our container and 25% rate of fire regardless baseline. So everything that we're getting. Backup shield, great. These both are good. Uh, now, in this one, I would actually go... Um, we get 40% back, but really, this is a lifesaver. If something gets really slams you, that gives you time to just run away, dash, 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 and let your shield come back to full. So I'm going to choose that over the legendary, um, just in this case, and... That's why I clear out my scrolls, just in case by now. Some... I don't need it, obviously, on this character, because I've got Feline and Buffer Shield. But You can just keep moving. It's on a timer until the boss now, so you can just keep running around, not kill anything, if you just want to get the kill. But you won't, you'll miss out on levels, you know. But you just keep waiting for the Elites, which is on a timer. It's 26 minutes, 4 minutes, we're going to get our Elites spawn. So you just kill the stuff that's sort of dangerous. Go around and kill the octopuses if I'm struggling a bit. Haven't got a lot of defensive ascensions, scrolls. I just kill the stuff that's going to mess me up running around, waiting for the elites. You just circle strafe these, and they do where you're worse. So they can't hurt you. Good little choke spot here. He's going to chain me, but... If I can keep far enough away, he won't chain. And this has got good range, unlike the rainbow, but I could use terrain for him. 
lots of lobsters are going to be up here. Uh, you don't have to kill them. They can't get you downstairs. So you can just keep running around and then thinning the pack. Press my E by mistake. This is a good go uh, spot, especially for the rainbow. You just get in this corner and it, they get stuck. And that's the sort of thing just by replayability. And you can jump down under here. Uh, we've got radioactive gloves here that I should look at, but... It's all a bit crazy now. Not that I can die, but just trying to play as if I could. If you have them bunched up, the glove shines. And you keep out of range, the sharks can't reach you. Uh, when they go mortal like that, though, your beam will just do whatever's closest, just move away. Or spin around to something else. They don't do a lot of damage, these guys. It's the corruption they put on you that is the danger. So you can circle straight those guys. Oh, I've got corruption on him. There you go, mate. You can't do it to me, but I can to you. Now, uh, if you don't understand the ascensions, and I, I was just a bit confused by all the choices and didn't know the synergy between them. You know, that, that guy, Slide RNG, Go to his site, search up, search up the fox, look at his actually useful tier lists, and you can choose builds and try them. And that's what I did until I got my bunny kill and thought, ah, Blossom Enthusiast, really powerful, consistently good to get it. And, um, you know, I destroy R8s now on my bunny, which is my, I call my main. But I do, I did want to just set myself the challenge of doing all of the heroes in here a few times, get to know the class a bit, and I am indebted the slight for understanding uh, the builds you can go for and what things when you get to reincarnation that uh, are worth choosing. Now, I can re-roll this, but I should have looked at another weapon. I'm just going to do three levels before it despawns. For 404 base damage now and a multiplier of 12. So that's pretty good. Monsters are spawning now on the time. Like I said, we hit 30 minutes. So you can just, you probably don't want to go where the lobsters are up top, but I know. Um, so I just want to, he does a frontal, this guy. There's quite a few elites at this point, but if you keep moving and just clear along the way, Uh, it's too dangerous up here, so I'm just going to... I would keep normally because of the lobsters. Uh, you can get underneath that lobster with it if you had a rainbow, but you can't with this weapon, so... I haven't got my rainbow. I wanted to show you about this. But I like to have the rainbow. I just wanted to show you both weapons here. And you might not even have this unlocked. I do like this in R8, so... On any character. Simply because if I'm heading up to um, the boss that has the cannons and the ship, the rainbow doesn't shine. So I don't like to get the rainbow until after that. If it's a serpent, it's all right. There's usually something on the vendor if you keep a bit of money that you can swap to. Because you're upgrading your offhand, so it doesn't matter changing your main hand at that point. The rainbow shines here, you can just kill all these elites and they can't get to you if you get around the corners, but it's all right, you just keep your distance, let them follow you around, look on your mini map to make sure you're not heading into something dangerous. And they're all just bunched, so that's nice. Uh, abnormal speed, got it. We haven't got a lot of that, but 3% uh, movement speed for 10% you currently have, so, you know. That's really nice. How many? Sh oh, I've got 17 of 20, so that's not going to toss out a good scroll. That's always the number you're up to without counting is there. I'm just going to try to bunch these so it's damaging everything. He's going to melt as soon as that goes off him. He's going to melt. And I can slow him is the thing about the glove. He just can't catch up to me if I get a bit of distance. Just seeing what's around there so I don't get cornered into... Uh, a shark. 
Uh, the monk's pretty easy to kill. He's got a lot of health, but he's got no shield to burn through. Okay, he's down. That's gold that they drop, but you know, gold's not an issue because we've always, already got plenty to reroll. Those beams go through the walls. Um, if you keep moving, they go to where you are. That's from a monk elite we've got to kill that's here somewhere. Um, really would have stuck with the rainbow for this because you can get down and kill those things without being able to be hit by it. You know, you can get around the corner here, this one here, and you shoot them, and then you move to the next corner. You get around here, you can't shoot through, but I can't do that with the uh, glove. But it slows him, so, you know, he's trying to get in range to do his abilities. So that's the advantage of the glove, the corrosion slows them down. He'd be, and it's got the range. Another catfish trying to get us. Nice and bunched up here, so it's going to kill everything around as well. I so said, come in here. I'll just keep moving and let the elite come to me, but just trying to find where that. And, the, and the elites will port, so if I just run up here and need a bit of a breather, none of those are good for me. They're never any, because that stops your shield recharge. MO is not a problem, and the random elemental thing is not much damage. I'm going to be those uh, lobsters up top. Oh no, that must have ported. Don't really care at this point. Ah, uh, he's going to be close to these guys. Where are they? Pack's thinning out now. Just because I had them all bunched up and was doing my glove, Kappa. Just trying to find, there's the elite. He's in the middle of that pack. He spawns four little other elites. Catfish as well. The glove, you'd be down here if you had the uh, rainbow, I mean because you just use your terrain constantly and be very safe. And that comes with just time in here and experience of working out where everything is, where they jump down behind you. As I said, if you keep fairly close to him, though, he tries to sword you, and he won't do those little shields, and they're the ones that really hurt. They got buffer shield, remember, so that would protect us a good deal. He's dead. These melt quickly, and they're not that dangerous to be honest um they're just an annoyance as long as you keep moving because they do their beam their pink beam which goes through walls at you uh if you keep moving they shoot where you were so you just strafe left or right using my enhanced beam here to kill everything around both the ads he's gone into here to try to hide he's scared of me He'll do that, you'll port around, he's running away now, he knows he's on death, you know, you know that you've got limited time. Don't you? Strath. Keep the enhanced beam up there, just so it's getting every, all those lands coming out. Now it's boss time, portals opened up, always over there. If I've got scrolls, and I'll have a look for a weapon that's better. <laughs> it's an 18 base damage after making crit, which is why we're going to crit on this boss with that. That's no good to me. The decay. There's no decay on that weapon. We never miss, so that's going to stack up to 45% damage. 3 times 15. I'm going to swap to that because I want to show you why this is superior on this boss than the glove. And the reason being that he puts pillars down and you can melt him through the pillars while you're just waiting and the glove does nothing because you've got to stay there to be safe at this point um i'm just upgrading my off weapon there might be another weapon around but you know I don't want to make the video too long i'd normally do a circle of the map um so we've got everything we're 44 as i said i've been 51 on other tunes that i've just got sweet damage on better weapons that are pew pewed some elusive inscriptions um but, you know, 40, 41 to 44 is pretty usual. 
And when you go into here, just make sure there's no scrolls that are hurting you. You haven't got anything that's reducing your health. We had the veterans, so we've got a little bit more health than we would have had. I didn't stack it up because I didn't need it. We got 77 down there. But you could get, if I was doing this, I would have been much more particular to run around the map and get my veteran up to 200. And I would have like, uh, what have we got? 177 there. Like I would have an extra 150 health there or 130 health. And that really helps. That's like a big lifesaver, especially if we're doing our E, which is making us, um, our shield go up and so forth. Now, do not go past these vendors. You go anywhere there. I've been in co-op and my son's run just gone a little bit over there. And I say, hey, I haven't even upgraded my weapon. I didn't get a chance to look if there was a scroll. And we're just into the boss fight. So I always are very cautious here. Bump it up. And we're ready. We've got it up to 33. And that's the beauty about getting your weapon early. I used a couple of chests to get three levels on. And we've got 476. That is huge. Um, so I want to use my right click on his head to get crits. Uh, yellow numbers telling me that I'm critting. Now he's just done the pole, which I can shoot through. It's just reloading, but shoot through and not get hit. Uh, he's doing circles under me. You want to move just around so they go where you just were. You've got to re put the other thing on, right click. You just could move to the left here. Even if you're not critting, it doesn't matter. Now he's gone invincible. He's going to put some pylons down usually. There's it is. Choose one of them that's close and you'll get behind. And he's going to do circles. Okay, uh, I haven't got my place marker. Got my marker. Just move around. He's got two things he can do there. Whoops, put the marker on that. You want to go away. He does the swipe. He can do for up to four of these in a row. Uh, he's doing the moving under. So it's RNG. You just got to know. Do four swipes. You have to move close. You have to move far. He's doing the underneath just means keep moving. The beam has a bit of uh, move close, and then I have to move far usually. No, nope, it's going to do the dots under me. When it's dots, you just keep moving. And the good thing is, you don't have to aim. You're just looking at your terrain to keep alive. If he does hands, I'm going to move far. That can one-shot you, by the way. He's got his beam. Now, he might do the explosion here, and this is where it shines. Right-click, and I can shoot him through that and burn him. Oh, I got, didn't get it on him. Burn him while he's doing that. Always stay behind that. He does an explosion jump. Haven't got terrific damage. I've melted this boss, you know, very quickly. Before I get behind when he does the hands, he can't hurt you. And you can shoot while you're doing that. He's going to do that. Stay behind. That'll stop that. But we didn't get hurt in a way. He's doing circles, just keep moving, get away far. I have to get my beam back on, it's not reaching him. That's the range issue on this jump. Get a far, which I got caught, but I got far in time. Hands, he can sort of uh, not do a lot, the hands, but just did a defensive. Now, I went far, but it was there. He's going to die. And it's over. So at least, you know, I didn't have a lot of damage because I didn't get a lot of damage scrolls. A lot of legendary, like Merciless Combo. But you can still do it. And that would have been doable with what we had if we didn't have, um, you know, being immune like that. And what really helps at that point is speed. So Austrian Boots, I like, or this one, or both. Have both of those. That makes it a lot health easier. Okay, well, I hope you have a good run on the fox. I don't really play the fox a lot. I have done an R8 on it solo. Uh, I do like it. Um, and there is a great video on Slide RNG. And I'll, I'll post, I thought, I've only started recording because I've worked out stuff recently, but I'll post my R8 runs on each class um, and what I would choose as ascensions based on Slide RNG's site which I always have on a second monitor. And we'll see what we get in essence. And I did spend a bit because I re-rolled 18 because I re-rolled to show you how our uh, buffer shield works. But you'd make about five, 600 gold in the 33 minute timer that uh, we paused a lot to talk. Hope you have a successful run and get that first kill.